Hey guys, this is Colby. Today I'm going to show you how to model the leg armor for your character using the annotation tool. So let's get started. So the first step is to turn on the annotation tool. So press T to open up this menu here. And then click on this uh, little draw sign. And then we can start creating the design. So I'm going to start creating the design for the left thigh armor piece. So Let's get started. Uh, I'm going to start creating strokes. Uh, right, left click, and then drag, and then left click again to uh, do a stroke. And I'm just going to start drawing the pieces. Once I finish this piece, you should get the idea. And from there, you can really just experiment and uh, kind of figure out how you want yours to look. But here, I'm just going to try to match the overall style that I had earlier with a lot of curves and everything. And have little nice details there. And hold down control so that way you can erase in case you want to uh, make some changes which right here i do i want to create more of like a like an arc like that i think that looks pretty good and we'll do the same over here just to add some extra detail just don't add too much though because uh sometimes it'll be a little bit too much and you won't really know how to actually model it because right now we're just trying to plan so here I might actually just add a curve like on this side. And that looks pretty good. So I'll show you what the rest of the pieces look like, but you should get the idea from this. So now I'm done with the rest of my annotations and I'm ready to start modeling. So let's get started. So to start modeling, let's go back and press the T menu again and then click on this little box icon here and start creating the thigh piece. So press shift A to open this menu here and then press mesh and then click plane. And we're going to move it down to where the thigh is. So press G and then kind of just move it to wherever your mouse is and then press S to scale it down and just kind of move it up again. And then go to side view, the numpad, press 3 on your numpad, and press R and then X, and then kind of rotate on the X axis with your mouse, and drag it to the front of the thigh. So now it's pretty much on the front, so we can start uh, editing, the, editing the shape a bit better. So press tab to go into edit mode, or alternatively you can uh, go and click on this little menu here and go to edit mode. Tab is just a shortcut. But uh, we're going to start dragging these vertices into position around the curve. So go into vertice mode, pressing 1 on your keyboard. And then just kind of drag these right here. And the reason why I'm dragging them right there is so that I can start modeling a set of faces that will uh, wrap around this arc right here. And then I'm going to do the same down here. I'm going to start with the arcs and then kind of like bridge the rest of the pieces together. But uh, it'll make sense once I uh, start doing it. So I'm going to start extruding. So here I'm going to press select this edge and press E to extrude. And just kind of rotate it along the way. And E again. Do the same over here. Just make sure you don't add any unnecessary parts. So that way it's easier to uh, model and like link everything together. Try to keep it as like low poly as you can. Here I'm just going to... Try to do what's only necessary. And that's pretty much it for this part. And I'm going to do the same down here. So I'm going to duplicate this face. So press 3 and then duplicate this face. Or you know, any face really, but uh, I'm just going to pick this one. Move down and then move the vertices down. So go back into vertice mode and start creating this arc. So press 2. Go into edge mode and then select this edge and then create this little arc right here. And now we're going to go along this side. And so here we're just going to add an edge, extra edge face. And so now we're going to basically link everything together. So we're going to start merging these faces together, but uh, that part is a little bit hard, so just kind of bear with me. 
uh, it, I think it really takes a bit of practice sometimes. It's a little bit different each time, and it's not very uh, easy to do. But it's kind of, you know, it's not too bad. But you get the idea. So I'm going to start with this edge, and then extrude downward again. Extrude again. And then fill. So hold down shift, and then select this edge right here, and then this edge. And you'll have both of them selected, and then press F to fill. And so that's that's. And so now we're going to do the same over here. So press this edge and this edge, holding down shift, press F to fill. And there's a lot of uh, like there's a huge gap here, but there's a lot of also like a lot of edges that are just kind of don't go together. So we kind of have to improvise a little bit. So here I'm just going to fill. I could fill it here. So I'm going to do that and then move this up a bit. And then here we have five vertices that need to be linked with a couple phases, but we're going to add an edge loop here. And press F to fill. And F to fill. So you're essentially just aiming to have at least uh, four vertices per face. And no more than that, or no little, or no less. You can have triangles, uh, which are just three vertices faces, but that'll kind of create some problems with like animation and rigging if you're planning on like warping the mesh a little bit. Uh, but I'm just trying to make this like as clean as I can. So now we need to start basically creating some curvature to this piece. So we're gonna go out of top uh, front view. And go to pretty much any other perspective, like the side view or whatever. Uh, but try to uh, create some wrap around the thigh. So I'm going to hold down Shift and Alt. And while in face mode, I'm going to select all this set of faces here. So we have all of those selected. And I'm going to turn on Proportional Editing with this button here. Where you can press O on your keyboard. But uh, here I'm just going to wrap around this side. So I'm going to turn up the... Uh, intensity a little bit so you can do that by scrolling up on your mouse or down uh, just to kind of change the uh, power but here i'm just going to make sure it wraps around this part's a little bit hard to do because the set of faces are a little bit like inefficient uh it's trying my best here so it takes a little bit of tweaking but we can smoothen everything out a little bit later on with uh, the smooth tool. Just not right now. So we're still creating the shape. So just make sure it doesn't flip through the base mesh. And so now I think I'm ready to go ahead and start smoothing everything out. So I'm going to use the smooth tool to uh, select everything and smooth. So press A. And then click. Uh, left click and then hold it and then drag your mouse and that'll smoothen everything up like that and we'll have to re-edit some of the shape because we just lost some of our like hard parts so we're going to go back a smooth a little more but i'm going to go back and edit the shape a little bit so go to front view and press o on your keyboard again to turn on proportional editing and then just move everything down. Just try to follow the annotation a bit. It's kind of like sculpting a little bit, but uh, you know, it's it's a little bit different. Sculpting is a whole other thing. Uh, but here, just kind of wrap around the corners. And just make these edges real clean. And wrap around the uh, bottoms here. Try to retain your arcs. So make sure your arcs are like very nice. So here I'm going to go ahead and try to edit the shape a little bit around the arc of this piece. So that way it's a little more uh, pronounced and prominent. So 
So I'm going to go back into object mode and then press right click on this piece and then shade smooth to kind of see how it looks. So here it's a little bit uh, rough, like right here. So I'm going to go ahead and smoothen this area out. So press G and then kind of move that section back. I'm just trying to make it look good according to my own eyes. Uh, but you know, just do whatever is good for you. Just make sure it looks good for your piece. So it looks pretty good so far, uh, but it's, it's it's not exactly the way I planned, but that's fine. I'm gonna wrap around the thigh a little bit better. But from here, you pretty much get the idea. All I'm doing is just tweaking the overall shape to my liking. Uh, but I'm just using the proportional editing tool to help me uh, wrap, like move things around a bit better and still keep everything kind of smooth. So I'll see what I'll show you what this looks like when I'm done with it, but I'll see you guys here in a minute. Okay, so now we're going to start working on the knee pad. So I'm going to take one of the faces from the thigh armor and shift D to duplicate and then move it down and then press P to separate by selection and go to object mode, press tab or click here and then Start creating the shape from the front view. Like that. And so uh, from the side view, it looks a little twisted. So we're going to select everything. Press S, then Y, and then 0. And that'll flatten it out. And then we're going to move it more to the front of the knee a little bit. And go into this, uh, select this edge right here. And then move it back a little bit to create a bit of an angular kind of look. I'm going to press E. So here I'm just going to extrude sideways, extrude, uh, press E. And then just kind of move it right there. And E over here. And I'll create that kind of look. We're going to move these back so that way it gives the knee pad a little bit of depth. And so th uh, last thing is to add some edge loops two edge loops, so control R and then scroll up once, and that'll select two. I'm going to scale these up, uh, but I'm going to move these up a bit, so hold down shift, alt, in edge mode, and select one of these set of edges here, move this one up, press GG, so that that'll slide along the edges, I think it's called edge slide, and then do the same over here, so edge slide, and then down, and then I'm going to grab this face and then move it forward a bit, and that'll create a bit of, like, Kind of a blocky look, which looks kind of nice for the knees. So, I'd say I'm pretty much done with the knee pad. Uh, later on, we'll add the subdivision surface modifier. But uh, for now, we're just going to keep going and modeling the next piece. So, so for the shin, I'm going to do the same thing that I did uh, up here. I'm just going to take this face, uh, go into edit mode, select one of the faces on the knee pad, duplicate them. So, shift D to duplicate. Move it down, press P to separate by selection again, and then go into edit mode, and then uh, drag these basically to the corners here of the shin guard. And we're just going to flatten it, so S, Y, and 0. And then go to edit mode, uh, but or side view I mean, and I kind of move this, match the uh, angles of this piece over here. Just follow the uh, angle of the leg. That makes sense. Uh, probably doesn't, but okay. So select this edge here, and press E to extrude, and then down, and S to scale it. So that way it uh, kind of it gets a little more narrow as it goes down or tapers, and then press E to again extrude again, and do the same. So here we're going to. Uh, Drag this one back a little bit. That's. I'm going to drag this one back a little bit too. So press Control R to add some edge loops. Scroll up once with your mouse. And then my edge slides down a bit to the sides. So GG twice. And then Shift Alt 
select the set of edges and press GG into the other side. And here we're just gonna create some depth. So press G and then Y. That looks pretty nice. So here we're gonna add an edger, extra edge loop so that way we can make it look a little bit better as it goes down the leg. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna rotate this back because I don't want it to be too curved. Uh, I'm gonna actually get rid of this edge loop. So I'm gonna press Shift Alt and in edge mode and uh, press right click and then dissolve edges. Now we get rid of that. So for the shin guard, uh, it's going to be the only piece that actually wraps around the leg. Uh, I just figured it, it looked the nicest. So I'm going to go ahead back to edit mode around the shin guard and press E on these edges once I have them selected. So hold down shift, press E to extrude back. And just kind of wrap it around the calf a little bit. But uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. But it's pretty simple. All I'm doing is just extruding and then wrapping around. And then once they're at the middle, once this side and uh, this side are like basically about to touch, you fill them in with F. So as I was saying, uh, now that we're pretty much uh, real close to merging this all together, the last step is to go ahead and fill this F here. And then just like these set of edges here, fill, and then this set, and fill. So it's a little blocky, so we're going to add an extra edge loop right down the middle, and then round it out, so make, move it back a little bit, and that'll create a little bit more of a nice curve. And so now I'm just going to kind of shrink it a little bit. It's kind of, uh, the piece is pretty big. Uh, the character's calves are like really large. Uh, so it's, you know, the armor's kind of crazy looking, but just the way the character looks. But anyway, uh, this is pretty much the calf armor. I'm going to create, the, I'm going to edit the shape a little bit. But I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. I'm not going to add any more edges or faces. I'm just going to tweak the shape a little bit. Now, so I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done with this. So, uh, this is my calf armor, the shin armor, etc. It's like a hybrid kind of. But um, all I did was just go, you know, move this down a bit that to create like a little bit of a dip. And then I moved this little ankle part here upward a bit, as well as on this side to create some symmetry. And, you know, I just moved this whole section up uh, like that. And, you know, I think it looks pretty nice. A little bulk, bulky, but that's fine. Uh, but now, last thing to do is to apply our modifiers, our subdivision surface modifier and uh, solidify modifier to each piece. So, on the supply piece, add modifier, subdivision surface, and solidify. And do the same here. Subdivision and solidify. Make sure it kind of, you know, looks, uh, there's no gap between the base mesh and the armor. Just to make it look, you know, nice. Uh, you don't want there to be gaps. It's, you know, it's kind of noticeable sometimes. But here we're going to say subdivision and then solidify modifier. But uh, since it's pretty low poly and we applied the subdivision service modifier, it kind of changes the shape a little bit. So we have to kind of go back and make sure it's not clipping through the base mesh. So edit the shape. Move that back. And it's pretty much fixed. So I'm going to add some extra edge loops to help sharpen up the parts that I want to be sharper. So this section here. And then I'm going to add one here and here. And same over here. And then I'm going to move uh, one down here. Now I'm going to add an edge loop, uh, two ones right here. So edge loop here and here. So that way it uh, creates like a little nice flat, like uh, kind of front part of the piece. 
And I'm going to do the same back here. So, Control R, and then Control R. I think that looks pretty nice. Uh, but it's, it's a little bit stranger here. And finally, one right here, just to kind of help. I mean, they're, they're really random. You can really pick wherever you want them. I just want to add them around the parts of the armor to make it look a little bit better. And right here, I'm just going to scale this inward a bit. Like add an edge loop and then scale it inward. And then kind of make the calf muscle a little bit more prominent. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to get rid of uh, this section here. It's kind of looking a little weird. But now that looks good. So go back and just add some edge loops, sharpen everything up. Here and here. You can add edge loops to really sharpen, like, you know, corners and stuff to make it look a, a little bit less rounded and a little more angular, which is a good sci-fi look. So there we go. Now we're going to apply, we're going to apply all those modifiers. So go into each piece in object mode and press apply. In each piece. And this will be the last uh, step and we're done with the video. That's all we got to do. So if you guys actually made it to the end of this video, uh, you're a warrior because this was a pretty long video. Uh, next time I'll try to speed it up a bit. Uh, for some reason today I was just a bit slow. And it was just pretty hard for me today. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you could leave a question down below in the comment, I'll try to get to it. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.